But as for it being said, نَجْتَمِئُ عَلَى مَا اتَّفَقْنَا عَلَيْهِ وَيَعْذُرُ بَعْضُنَا بَعْضًا فِي مَا اخْتَلَفْنَا فِيهِ So as for, obviously he's quoting here a famous saying of the Ikhwan, Ikhwal Muflisin, saying of Hassan al-Banna, their founder, or his followers. As for it being said, that we will gather together upon what we agree about. And as for what we disagree about, then we'll just pardon each other. This is the saying of the Ikhwan, this is not the saying of the Salaf. The Salafiyun, this is the saying of the Ikhwan, the scene. That we'll gather together upon whatever we can agree upon, and whatever we disagree about, then we'll just leave it, you know, we'll pardon each other about that. The Sheikh said, this is something impossible if it refers to differing in aqidah. Obviously, they, they use it unrestrictedly, aqidah, everything. They leave, leave aside all differences, doesn't matter. Just point. Sheikh said, if, the, if that is used on aqidah, it's impossible to do this, to unite and to just pardon each other about differences in aqidah. Then he said, however, if it is differing in the matter of fiqh and matters of questions of fiqh, which are possible, can be this way or that way, then that may be allowable. مَعَنَّ الْوَاجِبْ اتِّبَاءُ الدَّلِيلِ Even though what is still obligatory is following the evidence. I mean, even in the matter of fiqh, we don't take it in restricted and say, yeah, fiqh, we can differ, it doesn't matter. You know, aqidah, we can't differ. Fiqh, that's an open door, it doesn't matter, we can differ. Ah, you know, we can differ about aqidah, we can differ about fiqh rather. That doesn't matter, he who said this, he said that, it doesn't matter. Sheikh said, no, it's not the case. The Sheikh said, there can be differences in matters of fiqh. Matters which are muhtamala, which could be taken that in accordance with the evidence, it could be taken this way, it could be taken that way. That may be allowable. Even though, even there, what is obligatory is following the evidence. Even in matters of fiqh. He the Most High said, and Sheikh was the evidence for that. He the Most High said, فَإِنْ فِي شَيْءٍ فَرُدُّوهُ إِلَى اللَّهِ وَرَسُولُ Surah Al-Nisa, the fourth surah, ayah 59. With the explanation, so if you differ about anything, even if it's matters of fiqh, whatever it is, if you differ about anything, then refer it back to Allah and to the Messenger. So the Shaykh makes a point here, and this is something probably worth pointing out. Sometimes people say, you know, matters of, matters of aqidah, we've got to be the same. There can't be any difference. Matters of fiqh, we can differ, it doesn't matter. Unrestrictedly, they say it like that. Unrestricted, you know, matters of fiqh, we can differ. The Shaykh is pointing out something very important here, that we don't say that unrestrictedly, matters of fiqh, it doesn't matter. You say this, and he said that, and there's a hadith here, and the Shaykh said that. We you know, take what you like. The Shaykh said, no. What's obligatory, still even there, is following the proof. If, for example, there's a difference, the Shaykh says something with his evidence. Shaykh A says something with a hadith. Shaykh B says something with the evidence, and he's got a hadith. You, you take A, and I take B. Both sides have got a hadith, no problem. That's what the Shaykh said, no problem there. You've got an evidence, there's got an evidence. The Shaykh understands that hadith this way, the other Shaykh understands the hadith that way, no problem. No. The problem comes, what happens, the problem comes when Shaykh A has got a hadith, and you, you may. You follow Sheikh B, Sheikh B said that he might have an evidence, but you don't know it. All you know is Sheikh B said something different. What's his evidence? Sheikh A has got the hadith. I tell you the hadith. He said, no, no, I'm not following that. I'm following what Sheikh B is saying here. What's his evidence? Don't know. Why aren't you following the hadith of your messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa that you know to be authentic? Because I'm following Sheikh B here. What's his evidence? I don't know. This is a blameworthy taqlid that... If you have this attribute in you, you need to check it and correct yourself. You've got a major problem here that you need to correct. Hadith on this side, and you're not following it. In favor of what? What a man said? Somebody besides the messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. If, if you find yourself with a symptom, you need to check your salafi here. Are you really a salafi? Are you really following the book? And the sunnah, what sunnah? The sunnah is there with Sheikh A. Sheikh, Sheikh B, you don't know his evidence. Maybe I have one, but you don't know it. You're not following the hadith, you're following this one. You need to check your salafiyyah and you need to check the second part of your shahada. Muhammadun Rasulullah. This is where we need to go back to basics. Is it that we, we, we learn the details and we forget the basics? Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. We don't take anyone saying over the saying of Allah's messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. What happens here? So just the point here that sometimes we need to check our basics again. So if you find this happening, then check your basics as 
Ibn Qayyim mentions in Ilam al the famous saying of Imam Shafi'i, that the people are agreed that a person to whom the Sunnah of Allah's Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam becomes clear, then it is not permissible for him to follow the saying of anyone else besides, besides him. The scholars agreed upon that. So sometimes we need to check out some. So the point, back to what the Shaykh al-Fawzan said, he said, Mats of Aqeedah, we cannot differ, no way. Mats of Fiqh, then the Shaykh said, those which are muhtama, it could be evidence could be this way or that way, then it may be allowable to differ. Even though what is obligatory is following the evidence, the dalil, even in the Mats of Fiqh, still we've got to follow the evidence. He the most high said, Fa nazatum fi shayin farudduhu ilallahi wa rasul. With the explanation, so if you differ about anything, then refer it back to Allah and to his messenger.